how far back we go, and especially my association with UNICEF. Um, so, delegates, a, a very warm welcome to all of you. <clears throat> I recognize today the presence of the Assistant Secretary from our Education Board, Mr. Nirmal Shah. He, I'm very glad and grateful, has taken the efforts to be with us this morning. After this, he has to go to his place of work, which is past the airport. So he'll have to cross the highway right across to be at his But he, he was very keen to be here to welcome you. We also have with us, we, as you know, Oshawa Academy, we have four campuses. Um, it's, a, it's a big school. Probably the air level is the biggest in Kenya. And uh, each school, we have campus committees to look after those campuses. So for senior high, which is our A-level school, with 370 students plus, we have the chair, Mr. Rajesh Shah, and Dr. Jasmine, who is also here this morning with us. Um, I'd like now to introduce you, and before I do that, I would like to recognize the presence of Mr. Raymond Kassam of UNISA. As I said, we, we have won. And who has been instrumental in the uh, organization of this fair here? The team of senior high, throughout the day, you'll be seeing them all the time. The head of school, Mrs. Viva Sharma. The deputy head, Mr. George Guru, who will be in the hall looking after you. This lady here is our career's master, Ms. Monica Perica, who has helped me. We have a total of 10 schools visiting here, and it is her efforts who she's been calling the schools, convincing them to come, and uh, telling them that their visit today will be very worthwhile. So it's Monica who is the, who's the person behind these efforts. We have teaching and learning, Mr. Mugo, who is a, there he is. So he, he will also be in charge of security and other areas. Some of you who may be coming to Oshawa for the first time, just to brief you that it's a renowned, we have a very renowned history of establishment of over 80 years. And the schools, since its growth, have grown, expanded, and uh, today they are 
known for especially the academic excellence. We, <coughs> just a news that I thought I would share with you this morning because we just received it last week and this was the high achievers under the Cambridge board. We offer both Cambridge and Pearson and uh, just to inform you the best candidate in IGCSE who has stopped in Kenya actually comes from Ashwan. So numerous subjects both in AS and A levels, I won't go into detail, the children have talked in them uh, in the country and have done very, very well. This is the first fair after COVID and I think what it brings to us is at least some semblance, some feeling of normalcy. Till now, it was either closing school, opening school, going virtual, going physical, back to virtual. And I think we have lost track. But after a long time, I think when this, uh, when Raheem and myself decided we, we had a chat about this fair, the most important was as a school, we felt maybe now we are getting somewhere to the normal running of the school. It was ironical that yes. As late as yesterday, we were getting mails from parents who were asking us, uh, will you be showing this event virtual? Will you be recording the presentations? And we told them, no. It is physical. We will not be, although it's not a problem, the ICD department, is a lady here, professional, who is in charge of our ICD. If you have any issues with emails etc or internet should, should be around so we told them no it is physical this is your opportunity to come and meet the delegates one to one so no it's, it's we are not going to show them online or about recording yes we said the presentations will be with a careers master Gratitude also goes to the gentleman who brought all the Australian universities with to us today, Mr. Mahul Shah. I believe he might he might be with us in the course of the day right? So we are very happy that is that our students today will have an opportunity to have a one-to-one face-to-face guidance from you on their various career choices. A big thank you to all of you first to travel from far away places to Kenya. And travel is not easy these days. I just had experience of it a couple of months ago. I don't know how many times I had to show all my certificates all again and again. So I think gone are the days where we could just take our passport, go to the airport and jump into the plane. I do realize what you people must have gone through. And we are very grateful and obliged to you. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you. And um, I hope today is a start of um, building great relationships with you, great bonding with you. And I'm sure there will be many occasions to meet you in the future. So thank you, delegates. And now, I, I think our assistants of the board member would just like to address you for one minute. Good morning, everyone, um, and welcome uh, to Washwell Academy in Nairobi. Uh, for those who have come from far abroad, uh, Karibuni is what we say to you all. Welcome to Kenya. Uh, we've been looking forward to this for some time now. I'm um, very excited to have you all here, um, especially after the last two years of not having any physical meetings. So um, our schools, uh, the students, all been very much looking forward to this and uh, we're looking forward to a great day. Um, Mrs. Chotaya has already said all the thank yous, but really we do appreciate you traveling um, to come here. Many of our students don't get that opportunity to have that interaction with the universities. They're traveling there for two, three years. So it's really nice that somebody can come here and talk to them and give them that um, insight. So I appreciate you all coming in here. Um, I'd also like to thank all the people who work behind the scenes uh, to try and get this event up and running. Um, a lot of effort has gone in. 
I won't name everyone individually, just two people are particularly like to thank Mrs. Chotai and Mr. Ramin Kasam uh, from UNISER. Really appreciate, uh, I think you guys have been working a lot, I've been hearing a lot about this over the last few months. So, yeah, um, uh, welcome all and hope you all have a good day here. Thank you very much.